Yisrael Salanta used to say, "Bekomim alai mereim tishmana oznai." We say this every Friday night. The words of David Melach: When our enemies rise up against us, tishmana oznai. Let my ears listen to what Hashem is saying to me personally. In other words, when your enemies do something against you, instead of looking at your enemy, try and think what is happening to me and what is Hakadosh Baruch Hu saying to me through the enemy. It's a well-known Jewish idea that the Ovos kept all the mitzvos, even though the Torah was not given. Many ask, if that's true, and it is true, how could Jacob marry two sisters? Doesn't the Torah prohibit marrying two sisters? And how could Moses' parents, Amram and Yochevet, be married seeing that Yochevet was Amram's aunt? That's also prohibited by the Torah. Have you ever spoken to people later on in life who say, I wish I could live my life over? Why didn't you do it right the first time? Because I just did the next thing, and I did the next thing, and I took what was easy. If a person wants to change and live an exceptional life, then a person has to be prepared to ask yourself, what's the best life that I can live? That's the challenge. Everyone knows that the spies triggered the ultimate sense, the ultimate vulnerability of the Jewish people to being, to being exiled from the land of Israel. Where was the shorish? Where was the root of the failure? We're in a time of destruction, and destruction comes about because all it takes for evil to grow is for good men to remain silent. People didn't make a decision. And now every single one of us has to look into our lives and say, is this the best I could be doing, or could I be doing better? Three times a day, we say to Kodesh Baruch Hu, we ask for Mashiach, we ask for the Gula, and then we say the words, Ki l'shuascha kivinu kalayayim. We wait for your salvation all day long. When we say these words, do we really think about what we're saying?